resource sheets. Are you saying people didn't vote? In many places. They went places with the no vote. In many of the local governments, there was no voting. Which local governments were It didn't mean that there was practically no voting. It didn't mean that there was practically no voting. Some part of our side, there was practically no voting. Some places in Obadu, there was practically no voting. Some places on the side, there was practically no voting. How many polling units are there in the entire state? 4,608. And how many are there? Uh, is, is INEC talking about doing a, a, a supplementary election? 162, so 162, 163. Out of about 200 and something that elections were cancelled. Yes. Yeah. So, are you saying that if you had this 200 and something, you would have won the election? Comfortably. Okay, let's turn it the other way. Assuming you were the ones that were leading now, with all the discrepancies you're talking about now, would you be complaining? It still does not remove the fact. You're not, you're no, not answering the no, question. No, no. Would you complain I mean, call for a cancellation no, of the election? I still raise the fundamental issue. We're talking about justice. It's beyond our election. We're talking about this nation, Nigeria. Mm. We're talking about developing a credible electoral process. It's not about winning elections. Okay, Mr. Nogal. You see, there's something fundamental Chris and said some time ago. Chris said, I am not desperate to be governor. Mm. I've been governor before. I am not desperate to be governor. I've been governor before. But, but we are not, talking about that, justice. That's not we are talking it. about disenfranchising a registered voter. Look at this. is an under election. Yes. 16 parties oppose call for cancellation. Which of the which of the 16 parties? Those that exist in the briefcase? Those who have not candidate in the elections? But their parties nonetheless. No, but they have no candidates in the elections. So they have no stake. Mm. They are spokesman who said he's a PDM. Have no candidate in the elections. You know, so the what is his logos? Voter register that was given to political parties. Yes. Uh, should they uh, have actually uh, had access to that voter register? 30 days before. That's what the law says. Good. And uh, you got yours uh, within that 30 days limit. And then it was changed by the same authority. When we talk about what we had initially, we had no problem with it. Because when we talk about change uh, in that particular voter register, because we also had uh, Kyodeido here, the... Uh, media person to Atayu Jaga. Yeah. He tried to explain, and it has to do with the age discrepancies. No, 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 that's not that. It's, 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 it's an unacceptable excuse. In some instance, you see, when you want to manipulate an election, you can tear off pages. From the register? It's possible, yes, if it's manual. But you see, let them produce the electronically generated voters register. That was given to you, right? Yes, which, given to yes, you which people were giving voters, which people registered that they had voters' cards. If they used that to conduct the election, we have no problem. Do you remember INEC also? If we use, we take it. Do you remember INEC also saying something about an addendum register, about how a lot of people were on the addendum register and did not, their biometric data wasn't captured? You see, one thing INEC must not do is to transfer their failure, their incompetence on the average Nigerian voter. We should not pay a price for their failure. And we should not celebrate their failure. INEC should be at the point of apologizing to Nigerians for the embarrassment. Because it was a monumental embarrassment. We had foreign monitors, we had people from all the other places monitoring the election. A monumental embarrassment. People, INEC in their wisdom, for example, made resolve sheets different from PU, this to the, this other, made them different. How can they explain and that? And all of you how commended INEC for that move. Did you not comment we that? Did. But what so is the problem? No, why would we, on election day, you tell me that the voter, the resource sheet, went for PU1, is found in PU8? Is that what Yes. Mr. Mongalu, you're painting a picture that I, who was on ground, and I moved around, Yeah. Obviously, you're talking about there were no there were no elections in a lot of places. Yes, That's I what you said. I drove round, no idea. and there were elections. People came out to vote. For example, there are places elections. The law says we should come out eight in the morning, mm. and electoral materials were delivered in some places by three, by four. But were people there? People were there. What did they vote? No, no, people were there waiting, and then you bring it by three, four, and you expect to finish election by six. Some people say, no, you can't do it here. I, 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 no, I, listen. Where is that Obosi? Well, not only Obosi. In UK, Umoji, all these places. Idali. It's verifiable. Now, when the chairman of INEC was speaking at the stakeholders meeting, but when he raised an issue about resource sheets, 
and I'd like you to play the tape. His answer was that where there is no resolve sheet placed on the table, voting should not stand. Mm. And I challenge them. Now, in interestingly, I mean, you, you, you've talked about how your candidate has said he's not desperate to be governor. Yes. He's been governor before. Yes. Now, some people are also casting their mind back to when he was governor yeah. and the elections that brought him into office. Yeah. We saw how they were overturned in the, yeah. in the courts eventually. Yeah. Do you think that uh, that precedent, because some people are saying that if you got it somewhat not very clearly the first time, chances are that you're trying to do that this, this time around. The, 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 court, the court has said that that process was faulty mm -hmm. and the decision was taken. But you took victory then? No, no, but the decision was taken. The victory was obtained mm -hmm. by a court of competent mm -hmm. jurisdiction. Mm -hmm. everybody, I, mean, I really every, don't. Everybody obeyed it. Uh, and that, that, that's true. Now, I also met the national chairman of INEC in one of his explanations on TV, television saying that the wreck that conducted, that is on ground, that there are no reasons why he should be removed for somebody else to conduct the election. Don't but you think did, did, that did, if somebody... Did, did, did he protest at that time? No, it will have consistently. The protest has been consistent. Let me remind you. Uh, consistent. Uh, let, let me remind you and your party, because yeah. uh, we have a trend now, and yeah. it looks like uh, it's a dangerous trend. Anyone who wins an election gives some kind of commendation to INEC, and when it goes the other way, they call for the head of uh, uh, the electoral uh, umpire. I'll take you to the election. We saw it was a close call between Dr. Chris Ngege and Dora Quinley uh, during the senatorial elections. And when finally Dr. Chris Ngege won that election, what were his words for INEC? He called Atari Jega a patriotic Nigerian. You're correct. So how okay. come that patriotism he saw in uh, Dr. Uh, Professor Jagger has suddenly disappeared because he came third in this election, not even no, okay, uh, I can answer that. one hour. I can answer that very simply. You're talking about an election that was conducted. Eventually, the will of the people was allowed to manifest. He became senator. They asked him about the election. He spoke about, about Jagger concerning the election that was conducted. And if you remember when he addressed the press a few days ago, he said, I quote, I find it difficult, I find it difficult to believe that the chairman of INEC, Professor Tayo Jaga, will claim ignorance of what happened in this election. If you listen to Tony Way, the PDP candidate, he said that the Jaga he knows has lost control of INEC. And what happened, the reference you made, between now and today, is over two years. And two years is long enough for anything to happen. One word before you go, what would you like to see? Uh, cancellation? Total cancellation and a fresh election ordered. A fresh With election ordered. proper voters register. With the same INEC? Fine, if they decide to and change. The, and the same election? No, and the, and the same, and the same no, election? Not, no, no, do not agree. Uh, who okay, will do the funding? Sorry. Who said that? Who would fund it? So like Judge Spears. Okay, Judge Mokalo. I have no apologies for asking them to fund it. Because if you meet, if you if you bundle an opportunity, you have an opportunity, you have, you have no reason, no justification to to tell us to bear the brunt of your failure or your incompetence. I'm afraid that that's where we leave it now. Uh, Judge Mokalo, Director General of Ingege Campaign Organization. Many thanks uh, for joining us on Sunrise Daily. My pleasure. Well, we'll take another moment now and we'll be back shortly. Join us again. Ask yourself, what does everyone want in life? One, quality. You should never compromise on quality. I never do. Two, speed. You think fast, so you want your data connection to be even faster. And of course, everyone wants to be appreciated. Like free roaming. Now you can receive all your calls for free every time you travel. And enjoy free calls on your birthday to call anyone you want. It's our way of saying we appreciate you. Because you deserve it. Introducing Etislat Gem. Join the Etislat Network today and enjoy amazing rewards.